Hey folks, this is AppShocker. This is the third video on WatchKit app programming with Swift. Today, we're going to create a WatchKit game. To be more precise, we will create a guessing game. We will create a game where the player will have to guess the correct city where the world's tallest church is located. In order to do that, we will learn a lot of WatchKit and Swift related mechanisms. As we have to take care of many things to create this guessing game, I will split up this tutorial in various episodes, whereby each one tackles generic WatchKit app and Swift issues. Nonetheless, these generic mechanisms will be necessary to write our guessing game. However, in total, you will learn the generic mechanisms and also you will learn how to create your own game with WatchKit. Therefore, in this first episode, we will learn the following. Please take a look at the screenshots here. So you can see that this here is the basis for our guessing game, where it also says, where is the world's tallest church located? So in order to do that, um, we will do the following. A, we will learn how to add a class to be more precise a second interface controller class, namely this here, where nothing else is displayed except the cancel button up here. But please remember, this here, this black area is still uh, empty because we will fill this area with more content in the future episodes. So don't be uh, worried about what we're going to do in this tutorial. Furthermore, B, We'll learn how to hook the second interface controller up with our storyboard. C. We will learn how to display this second interface controller via clicking on a button. In, to be more precise, via clicking on this button here. And last, by having clicked on this button here, we will display this second interface controller within a modal view controller. Okay, in order to create our first guessing game, let's just start right away. Okay, you're already familiar with that. Just open up Xcode, select a single view application, click on X, let's just call it guessing game. And you also know this, click on file, new, target, in order to get a watch get app target, it's already selected, click on next. Uncheck this include notification scene here because we're not gonna deal with them in this case. Click on finish, click on activate, and now everything's set up for writing our guessing game. Good, let's just go to our interface storyboard here. Let's just check out what we have. So it's pretty empty. Now, according to the, this screenshot here, we need two UI elements. Namely, we need to have a label in order to display this text here, and we need to have a button. So, let's just use our, let's just create a label to be exact. So we got a label here, drag and drop it onto our storyboard, and let's just call it, as we did that in our screenshot, where is the world's tallest church located? So as you can see, here's a problem. Now we entered the, the text here, but here it's not displayed uh, completely. We just have these three dots here indicating that there's more to come, but we don't want it to be, dis to be displayed this way. We want to make sure that it's displayed completely. So, here in your interface, in your interface builder, you have some sections here, and you also have the possibility to take care of this here. So, you have to check out something that is called lines. Here, if you reduce the lines from one to zero, then the whole text is um, displayed. So. Furthermore, you have to make sure that this here, it occupies the complete space um, relevant for this text here. Furthermore, make sure that this text is here centered. Now let's just compile it. 
and let's check out what it looks like. You already know that this takes some time. And yeah, so it's a split, but still there is something not quite right here with this label here. So you see that here on the right hand side, there is some space here that we don't want to have here. So we have to get rid of that. We need to go here to our interface below again, and here we have our label selected. And we have something here in the size section where we have our width and height. So here we want this label to be relative to the container. Click on this here. And our height is, is um, size to fit content. So click on stop here and recompile it. So let's just check it out and there you go now it looks beautiful okay now we have our label set correctly let's just stop it here and as you already know we need to have a button so let's just get rid of this here and let's look for a button here we also drag and drop it onto our interface controller and let's just call it play the game. Good. So let's just compile it again. Let's just check it out whether we did it correctly. Yeah, we did it that correctly, but yeah, so you see nothing happens when we click on it. Furthermore, we want this button also to be displayed in green. Let's just do this too here. Let's just do it this way. Click on this taxier here and let's just create a button variable here. Let's just call it the button. And here in our, let's just close it this here. Let me have some space here so that you can see this function better. So please remember this function here, awake with context, is the one that is called when everything has to be set up. So you can also see this via this comment here, configure interface objects here. And this is the place where we can also modify the properties of our button. So let's just write down self the button. Let's just wait a little because sometimes uh, Xcode does not work correctly. So this is actually a, a bug, but we have to deal with that right now. So. Hang on, it's... So it has to find the reference to this here. And it'll take... Because it's set co color, UI color, green color. I already know that from experience. So let's just compile it. Let's just check it out whether it worked. Yeah, so you see it worked correctly. Now, as you remember, um, I told you that we need to have a second interface control. Let's just close it here and go to our interface controller. So basically what we need first is the same structure, the same class structure as, as in our first interface control, namely here. So let's just create a new class, let's call it um, yeah, second interface control. You do this, let's just create it here by iOS source. Let's just make sure that the target is selected to guess in game. Watch get extension, which is really important here. And let's just call it second interface controller. Click on create and boom. So you have your second interface controller class. Let's just put it up here so that we can see it better. Yes, so it is fine. However, as you can see, this class here is completely empty except for the import foundation. So this is a problem because um, this class actually cannot do anything. Therefore, as I told you previously, we need the same structure for the second interface controller as in the case of the of the first interface controller. So what we're going to do is we basically just copy paste structure here and we're going to display it or to be more precise we're going to copy paste it into our second interface control swift class. So let's just put it here, remove this here because we already have it. And very important here, you have to 
uh, name your class correctly obviously because it's not your interface control it is your second interface control Swift get rid of this uh, button functionality because we don't have any button uh, uh, here up to now so let's just remove this here so up to now we just need this very basic structure so you see this here so however now we just have a, a Swift class but we don't have anything within our storyboard so actually we also need to make sure that our storyboard also contains a second interface control so how do we do that? Let's just go over here to our interface, uh, to our list of UI elements and also other um, classes we can select from. And let's just check it out here. Ah, you can see here, here's something that is called interface controller. So this is actually what we need and just drag and drop it in onto our uh, interface storyboard here. So now we created a second one, but we also have to make sure that this second interface controller also um, represents our second interface control Swift class here. So I just click on it here. Something here um, where it says show the identity inspector and it says class. So up to now it is a generic a WK interface controller class um, that is that is displayed in this here in this interface controller but we don't want this here we want to have a specific class so in order to do that let's just click on this uh, icon here and select second interface controller so this is very important because now we make a direct reference to our second interface control Swift class over here so when this interface controller is, is instantiated within our storyboard then this class is instantiated not the, the generic wk interface controller class very important so um however um we could compile and run this app but still it wouldn't work the way we want it uh to be displayed because we have to make sure that actually by clicking on this play the game button we display the second interface controller. So what we're gonna have to do is the following. So as we know, this here is a button. So in order to display the second interface controller, we click on control and we hook this button up with the second interface controller by uh, dropping it onto our second interface controller. And now, as you can see a new field pops up where you can select from push or modal as I told you previously we want to use a modal view control and therefore just click on modal so now you see our segue where where you can see that this interface controller is, is hooked up with our second interface controller by clicking on the play the game button so let's check out something is missing up to now now let's just go back to our uh, to our simulator so now we got our play the game here and now here we go it works perfectly so you see if we click on cancel we go back to our first interface control so when we click on the play the game button so we create a mobile view control which contains our second interface control swift class up to now so you see everything worked up to now and you learned how to create a second uh, class in this case a second interface controller you learned how to hook this second interface controller up with a button and how to display it within a, a model view controller so and this is it for our first episode on how to write our first guessing game for WatchKit. And remember, this is just one part of the series. So we just learned how to create the basis, so the, the frame of how to mm, work with other gaming contents and mechanisms and so on. As a result, if you want to see more on that, thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to see more tutorials in the future. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and don't forget, just stay tuned.